All right, ladies and gentlemen, you're in for a treat today. Look at this insane gameplay right here from my dude, Breezy. Sitting crouched on a rooftop with a pistol. Meanwhile, we've got a shit ton of enemies down below us. And we're just going to sit here and stare at the sky. Now, he is level 29, so he has definitely not been around the scene for a long time. But we can already see he's struggling. He's watching shit go down. He's debating whether he wants the Magnum or not. Slowly picking up loot. Look at the patience in this man's ability to pick up weapons. He's not sitting there just spamming it. He's not being too fast with it. He's actually putting some thought in. Now, what's concerning me is there may be someone crawling up the ladder right here because this is exactly where it's at. And if he is, we may be in some big trouble. Also, on top of that, our squad did land over here. They did ping that. So bad on Breezy for going over here, doing whatever the hell it is that he's doing. Now, this, ladies and gentlemen, if you did not get, is clearly a plastic lobby and no shots to anybody, but it is what it is. And we're sitting here and just kind of, I don't know what we're doing. I'm a little confused right now. I'm going to be honest. And that's, that's all she wrote. It was only a matter of time. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know in the comment section right now. Do you think that this was actually a bot? I'm not talking about a player that's bad. I'm starting to suspect... Activision may be throwing in some bots into gameplay because what in the fuck was that, man? That was some weird shit, bro. Doesn't matter, though. Here we are moving on to Big Irv, Poncho Bowie, and Max Sween, who are just taking their sweet-ass time doing what it is. Now, look, guys, straighten up, man. What are we doing right now? Look at this shit. We're out of position. We got a lot of enemies over here. We got a lot of enemies over here. And we're out here doing nothing. We got money for a loadout, so guess what that means? You're right. Ding, ding, ding. Let's go buy this shit. Come on, man. Green, get your ass over here. Green's over there taking selfies in the mirror while doing squats and posting that shit on Instagram, doing the duck face right now. So, unfortunately, he's taking a little longer than we really planned to. Blue's just going to go off on his own, and we're going to go this way as well. Now, look, the, the mistake right here, guys, and let's just be honest with each other. They're not fucking playing together. This is some garbage-ass shit absolute garbage breezy goes out in the gulag not surprised at all there um so so right now dude if he was to go over here and there's a team there and he gets picked we lose his money if there's a team here and he gets picked we lose money and uh, same thing with us let's see what he goes ahead and buys we could we buy back breezy oh my god now granted they don't know breezy like we know breezy so we can't hold them. We can't hold that against them. But I think saving for the loadout would have been a little bit better option um, after what we witnessed from Breezy. Now, I'm going to bet money that he breaks his ankles on the land in. Oh, Breezy made it. Holy shit. Here we are. Just. <laughs> Bro, you cannot tell me that Activision does not have actual AI bots in the game. I'm not even being mean. I don't think this is a real player. He shoots his gun. He actually shot his gun at the building. That really happened. He just, he just did that. He shot from the from the side. And he doesn't even turn. I don't know if he has a right thumbstick. I'm going to be honest. He might only have a left thumbstick. Maybe that explains a lot. But unfortunately, our squad just found out how bad Breezy really is. And now they are by themselves. Now, look, we had the money for a loadout. We still kind of have the money for a loadout. But we lost, we lost Pichoe boy, unfortunately. That would have been a nice loadout. And this guy had literally been sitting in the same damn building. Let's go check him out real quick. McSween, what you been up to, brother? Rocking the beautiful AK right now, okay. Not really sure what it is that we're doing. Now look, right now we're having fun in games, right? And I really want these players to improve. That's why I make the videos. I truly want you guys to get better at the gameplay. But every now and then when you see shit like this, you just gotta laugh. And cry. I mean, I don't know what it is with this squad where they don't hit their sprint button ever. And why they move so slow. But look, man, you've... Oh, here we go again. Big Earth on the prowl right here. Marking and pinging everything around us. Here we have Poochu Boy. Sitting in the other building. Oh, never mind. He's flying in. Just kidding. So let's see what he does here. Let's see what the play is. So basically, right now, it's bigger versus the world. All right. Enemies just probably got alerted that enemy is in inbound. And they're going to probably push the shit out of us when they saw us float over here. This could be very bad for Big Urban Company. Now, if you do notice, uh, Mr. Breezy did back the fuck out. I guess computer programs on a timer. And it is what it is. 
Now we know there are enemies over here, or at least we thought there were enemies over here. And notice how we're not even we're not even looking. We're not what are we what are we looting shit for, man? Oh my god. He's gonna get shot in the head. Enemies. Never mind. Doesn't matter. We go down. Blue gonna have to come back in, but no, he's gonna close the gap and force the fight. Crouch walking with a tech nine. I love the play. Enemy separating himself from us. He's got a sniper rifle. We do not. He's got better range than we do. Plating instead of looking, running back to the building, turning our back to the enemy. Very bad decision. Thankfully, the enemy did not shoot at us, and we're gonna go hide in the bathroom. Never mind. Wait, we're not. Now, right now, I fully expect the enemy to come push us. I definitely would if I was him. No footsteps as of right now. Everything seems good. They're trying to shoot us through the window, hitting prone without even looking where it's going coming from. And I do believe this is where it's coming from right here. Enemies pushing right now on the staircase. We need to go ahead and look at the staircase. We need to change our angle, separate from our teammate, get two lines of sight on the staircase. Let's see how the enemy plays this. Probably gonna jump out the window. Does not jump out the window. Oh my God, he goes down. He's popping the reload. Enemy goes in and Poncho Boy getting the kill. Thankfully with the stun grenade. Very ballsy by both Big Irv and Basito Way. Basito Way should have jumped out the window and changed his position and or just camped the rock and waited for the squad to come to him. Doesn't matter. Big Irv goes down. It looks like Poncho Boy will have the same fate. Ladies and gentlemen, GG to the squad and on to the next one. Guys, look, are y'all tired of... Are you tired of playing like this? Try some sneak energy. Shit tastes good. Shit is good. And well, it's just the shit. East Coast Savage at checkout. Shit's bomb. Damn it. Big Herb is still in. He is last of a four man squad. Everyone backing out of him. And guys, look, if for whatever reason you want to utilize our looking for groups pages, join our damn Discord. You'll find better teammates than this. I promise you see that. Ooh. Aiming at the ground, but still able to hit his ankle. I love that. Insta-killing him with one blast. That's not stupid at all. No way. All right, here we have Big Irv coming in now. No need to buy teammates back. We could land on the loadout. That's probably going to be the play. Never mind. We're just, we're just, we're just not going to do it. Okay. Going to the house right now to camp. I'm retiring, boys. GG's. I'm done. What is this lobby, man? This is like a universal thing. Bro, am I not doing a good enough job at teaching people how to play this damn game? Come on, man. Oh my God. Blue goes down, making a full on sprint out in the open to his shed for whatever reason. And here we are. Now look, we haven't spectated a player yet with more than three kills, but thank God Joe Mama's on the case right now. And it doesn't matter. That case is closed real damn quick. Kyle LZ coming from the right-hand side while our teammates right there next to the enemy not covering our right-hand side. Bad team play by the squad right there. And unfortunately, now it's up to Pale and Lil Ickup. Enemy sitting in the window, waving to us with his mouth. No surprise he goes down there. Trying to ego challenge the enemy. We've got Precision's coming in right now. Fortunately, no one goes down, but little Ickup almost does. Look at his health right now. So damn low. Jamama coming back to land on their shit. Now, we have two enemies sitting at the shed right now. This is an easy gatekeep. They have to come to us. But if we continue to blind ourselves from the enemy, they're going to leave and we're never going to see it. Keep your eyes peeled. You don't want to... There you go. I love that. Closing the gap with the pick. Enemy on the right-hand side. We have a stun grenade. Don't throw it yet. No, no. Too, too soon, Junior. Too soon, Junior. Come on, man. You got it. Mm. Learn the timing of your stun grenades, ladies and gentlemen. Doesn't matter. Able to just fucking abuse the enemy squad with the Grawl going in from the right-hand side, left-hand side. Enemy jumping out, ego challenging us. Bad play. Bad play by Pale right there, sitting there in the open while there's a whole squad around this building. Now, one question you're asking yourself, and I know you are, because I'm asking myself, where the hell are my teammates? Oh, there's Joe Mama with Cali Six. Joe Mama. Come on, man. You got loot. You got shit. We're getting shot at right now. We're going to buy our teammates back. Get the satchel. Get the gun. Come on, man. Do something. Play the game. Oh, my God. This is not looking good for your boy. We are in a solo trio position, I believe. I don't think it's a full squad. Get yourself to the roof. Try your best to outplay this situation. What are you doing, man? You're giving me a headache. Enemies below us. It took him way too long to figure out what the fuck his next play was. We hear the enemies in here to the right-hand side. You just... Come on, man. 
Use your headset. Thank God. 4K coming on the corner. Just saving our ass right there. Beautiful. Are we going to repay the favor by saving them? No, we're going to swap out to the AK. Not really a good move. I definitely would stick to the bullfrog in a close quarter situation. Need to pop our plates, brother. You're trying to eager challenge the enemy out in the open with no plates. What are you doing, Joe Mama? And we get executed. No surprise there. Zero with the execute. Instead of taking out 4K, which is also questionable. This is just a, a fight that they're trading back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I believe now it's a 1v1. This may be the last guy. Trying our best to find a good close range weapon. Picking up the MP5. We're popping the reload and going with the play. Now, I don't know why we're staying in our scope and why we're staring at the ground. And again, I understand staring down so you can see a little bit more. I get that, but just, just look. Just open your eyes. This is a close, close range situation. There's no reason to ADS. None! A 4K's got... 13 kills, doesn't matter. It's about to be nothing. His good game is about to get ruined. He needs to just break away, but it doesn't matter. Demolisher coming around. Beautiful stun, beautiful accuracy, beautiful B hopping. Not really B hopping, just more like jumping, but beautiful regardless. GG, and we're on to Demolisher and company. Rocking seven kills, and that was the highest amount of kills we've seen this video. 13 kills by 4K. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Perigaso FPS. Rocking 12 kills, clearly the team leader. No idea how many Zero is rocking, but he was getting a lot of kills. I will say we're spending way too much time thinking about that gun. We have enough money to get the buyback on our teammate, but the teammate is still in the gulag. We're waiting patiently for that to happen. I do wish that Activision would implement a system to where we can cancel our own gulag so our teammates can buy us back. Because that puts us in a lot of bad positions a lot of times that we don't want to be in. I'd rather, I'd rather just kill myself off the gulag real quick instead of waiting for a fight and let my teammates call me back, spend the money. We've got a hungry team right now, Perigo, going for the bounty, marking over here at pool station. Now this can be an easy gatekeep. You can push it if you want, but I'm gonna go ahead and guess. Bitches are on top. Let's see how they play this. Our teammate is full dead now, so the Bolster can buy back. We have the enemies rotating this way as well. I wouldn't even, why, we don't need anything. Let's go ahead and focus on the fight. He's rotating while we're so busy looting a train and looking the wrong direction. You already know the play. Have the Bolster buy back a squad mate while we go in there and kill the enemy. Now there is also another squad on top of the apartments. We got to be very careful with this fight because we could get third party if we do end up closing the gap and pushing the enemy. Demolisher in action right there by the buy station. Getting a knock, getting execute. Beautiful shots by Perigo. Getting the nice knock. We got Tracers coming over from the right-hand side. He spots it too. Sees them in the garage. I mean, sees them in the field. Able to get the armor break. We have the bounty closed in on us as well. Look at this, bro. We gotta be, we gotta be ready for any play. Trying our best to go in on the right-hand side and get the execute. There's another enemy in the window of the fire station again dude for some reason the edge of the circle in this mode is so hot man if you guys just play the edge and gatekeep you could drop a 20 20 kill game easily no idea what he was doing he definitely should have heard us shooting our gun right behind him but he did not and perigo goes on to move on to 15 kills and potentially win the, win the game Buying back Demolisher, good play. Sitting here using, trying his best to get a precision off to hopefully kill that team. Now, he does have an angle, so it may actually hit the most wanted. There it is, beautiful shot with the with the precision. ABQ going down. Now, he needs to get executed for sure, and we have our man going in on him right now. We need to go help him out, though, because he's going to have a pistol. And you go ahead and rotate to our squad. It's an easy gatekeep. Clearly, it can't be one enemy because he did get res somehow. I would imagine he had a self-res, but there may be a second teammate. There's one. We get ABQ again. Is there another squad mate? Yes, there is. The most wanted bounty continuing to rotate across the street. ABQ is definitely down now. Even if he had a self-res, it's been wasted. And we have Orange sitting here patiently waiting for the most wanted. Now, him going inside would not be a good play. He's going to get killed regardless because we're going to come up and Orange's going to shoot him in the back. This is a great way to pinch the enemy. It just depends if we can time it properly. Perigo's taking a little bit too long of a time and Orange, if he jumps on him again, he's going to be at a disadvantage because he's not going to have his loadout compared to the enemy. Unfortunately, Orange goes down and we share the same fate. Now, guys... 
I'm going to show. Oh, no. 1v3. Guys, this was an easy gatekeep position. And for some reason, we allowed one player with the most wanted bounty on him to outplay three of us. And why was that? Because our timing was not good. We timed that poorly and literally got knocked one at a time. Close the gap. Push the enemy as a squad. But again, push them as a squad. Do not funnel to them and make it easy for them to kill you. That is absolutely insane. I can't believe we just witnessed that. And now here we are spectating Zero, who's got enough money to get his squad mates back, but I don't know if he's going to be able to make it to the buy. A lot of gunshots going off at Promenade West. He needs to go ahead and move there now instead of pissing people off with a sniper rifle. Checking the time, making sure we still have enough time. I think he does. He's going to go ahead and make his way over here. Now, slide canceling is, again, guys, it's it's too much. You can't time it right. He's, he's going too, too long and he's not going long enough. Um, okay, here we are dropping all of our guns going to the buy. This is basically what players do when they want to like cover their ass, right? So he's in a bad spot. He needs to move all the way across to buy his teammates back. So he's going to be like, guys, I'm going to drop my weapons and see if I can do it. That way he's not technically tryharding. So if he dies, it's not as embarrassing. So that's exactly his mindset. Dropping his guns, going to the buy. It's going to be really unfortunate when they get to the end game and his, he's not going to have his guns. I can't believe what I'm witnessing right now. We have the potential to win this game. Seven enemy teams up. And we have decent position. It's going to be a hill ending. We have a great spot. And we're laying prone, not looking at shit. Meanwhile, our teammates are floating above us. Now, look, I'm all for floating to like ping enemies and figure out where to go. But clearly, your teammate's relatively safe. You could land on them. But they're just going to gonna float the whole time and pray to God that everyone kills each other off. And they can land in and just win by the grace of of god and that's not gonna happen brother where you go for 16 kills you're breaking my heart my guy i'm gonna be honest another enemy falling in blue's about to get it hard man there he goes not surprised there zero goes down but you know what zero's saying haha <laughs> guys i wasn't even trying bullshit we have three loadout drops coming in we have ours as well over to the 150 let's see how we land on this don't want to pull your parachute er too early but don't want to pull it too late beautiful timing can we beat the enemy squad's here. There's three targets. We need to swap to the what? Oh, you missed the stone. We need to swap to our close range, brother. There's one. Actually, I believe he's got a sniper as a secondary. I might be mistaken, though. There's another one. The enemy's just laying perfectly still behind the crate. Don't understand why I didn't peek up and try to fight that. Finally, there he is peeking. We got double pistol to see if we get the knock, and we do, but barely, thankfully. Now, Orange is in the fight right now, shooting off to the 300. It looks like he won his fight as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, here we are now in a 2v8 situation. This is not an unlosable game. My man Perigo sitting on 18 beautiful kills. The squad ain't rocking 10. We got two double digits, and they are looking cracked out of their fucking minds, bro. All right, so what do you do in this situation? Well, of course, this is going to be a hot spot for sure. People are going to be rotating and trying to hold this building. So, they can't stay there. So, I would definitely keep my eye around this area and get that gatekeep. We hear shots being shot to the southeast as well. Make yourself aware of that. I don't like being down here, though. This is a kill box, and you get the hell out of here. Also, don't like the fact that we have double pistols and ending like this. This is quads. Double pistols will not be the best weapon of choice, in my opinion. Finally, getting out of the kill box, rotating and pushing to the southeast, 105. And again, we're going to be in a position where we can gatekeep. Here we have Perigo after complimenting him, just flipping me off. I mean, Perigo, look. Brother, it's not my fault you're playing like a bitch, dude. Step it up. You could have dropped 30 kill this game. If you seen this lobby, fam, have you? Come on, man. Enemy down below. Let's see if we are patient enough to take a shot. Enemy taking shots. We're going to head from the left-hand side. Try to collapse the enemy. There's the knot. Now, where's his boyfriend at? Getting a little too tunnel vision on the execute right now. Not really scanning his left-hand side, which is kind of scary. This dude's teammate somewhere. We don't give a flying shit. There's the enemy on the edge of the gas. Sitting behind a tree. We get the nice stun. Going around and getting a kill. This is reverse boosting at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. Picking up some plates, rocking a 20 kill game, and finally with a bullfrog instead of those dumbass pistols. But it is a 2v3 position right now. I would imagine the team would be rotating in this area for sure. And if they are in this area, they will have a little bit of favor. But just because they have favor doesn't mean we can't win the game. If the enemies are down in the kills, the kill box, I'll be mind blown. Would be an absolutely bad play. Ping going out to the 330. Let's go ahead and see what Demolisher sees. Side peek and baiting for shots. We can't really see shit with the side peek, so I'm not really sure what's going on. Shots being fired at Perigo. Perigo in a, in a tough spot. Getting shot by three enemies. We could change our angle and try to 
trying to come up from behind the enemy. But we're not going to. I don't understand what the hell is happening right now. We're throwing stuns. He's somehow able to know exactly where the enemy's at. This is getting a little questionable, to be honest. Stunning the enemy. Not even able to see him. Coming over the hill, instantly locking to exactly where he's at. Even though the ridge was massive. And now forcing a 2v2 fight. Doesn't matter of anything though. Pariga with a double kill to finish it off with 22 kills. Ladies and gentlemen, GG. Guys, look. Reverse boosting, it's a thing. We all know it. I think at this point we've all accepted it. It is what it is. Um, it's also the reason why SBM is pretty pretty useless, right? Um, but anyway, look, I don't understand. I'm trying to think of it from like a mindset of just not being judgmental, but I don't understand how we have players that we're spectating that are well into the hundreds with their level and they're still playing like they're actually an automated bot. I don't understand why people are refusing to practice their movement, why people are refusing to sprint, refusing to slide cancel, refusing to look at a direction they're getting shot from. So many questions from this match have just sparked my interest even more. Again, we had fun with it. We were teasing a little bit. We were, but at the end of the day, um, this shit shouldn't happen. This game's been out for 18 months. There's no reason, no reason for people to still be playing like this. Um, guys, if you find yourself in these bad habits, make sure you're watching my other tips and tricks videos. If you guys are finding yourself um, with teammates that are playing like this, that you can message, send them some videos, help them get a little bit more confident, get a little bit more aggressive. Because all we're seeing in this game is lack of confidence. It all starts with that. You guys build confidence. You stop giving a shit. You'll produce better gameplay. I promise you that. But guys, again, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like on it. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. And until next time, guys, you have a good one and good luck in Warzone.